In the first coordinated Western action against Beijing under U.S. President Joe Biden, the United States, Britain, Canada and the European Union imposed sanctions on Chinese officials Monday for human rights abuses in the Chinese territory of Xinjiang, home to many ethnic minority groups. The move comes on the heels of a meeting last week between senior Chinese and U.S. officials, including Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, which laid bare tensions between the world's two largest economies. We certainly know and knew going in uh, that uh, there are a number of areas where we are fundamentally uh, at odds, uh, including uh, China's actions in Xinjiang. Western governments are seeking to hold Beijing accountable for mass detentions of Muslim Uyghurs in Xinjiang. Activists and UN rights experts say at least one million Muslims are detained in camps in Xinjiang. They also accuse China of using torture, forced labor and sterilizations. China denies any abuses in Xinjiang and says its camps provide vocational training and are needed to fight extremism. Ahead of meetings with EU and NATO ministers in Brussels this week, Secretary Blinken on Monday said in a statement that China, quote, continues to commit genocide and crimes against humanity in Xinjiang and that a united transatlantic response against Beijing, quote, sends a strong signal to those who violate or abuse international human rights. The EU was the first to impose sanctions Monday on four Chinese officials, including a top security director, a decision that was mirrored by Britain and Canada later in the day. The U.S., which had already blacklisted the top official in Xinjiang last year, added other senior Chinese officials to the list Monday. Beijing hit back immediately with punitive measures against the EU, blacklisting European lawmakers, diplomats, including families, and think tanks, and banning their businesses from trading with China.